Well, the final match of the day. Getting ready to get underway in the evening sunshine. It's been a hot one, but it is just starting to cool down. It's worth three points. It's a mixed doubles. And I tell you what, there are a fair few Grand Slam titles on the court for this one. And announcing them onto court will be Abigail Johnson. This last match of the day is the big three-pointer in action for the British Bulldogs. It's Emma Raducanu and Joe Salisbury. And representing the Union Jacks, it's Heather Watson and Jamie Murray. Well, the Foghorn is back, back in business. But I tell you what, today has been all about the Union Jacks. They have done incredibly well. The Bulldogs just wrestling that way, that last singles match away from them as Kyle Open took the win. But they really have caught up when it comes to the points and played some tremendous tennis. And Heather Watson in your picture, a big part of that, picking up two points in her singles earlier beating Emma Raducanu, who she'll be facing once again here in this mix. So twice out, two outings in one day for the pair of them. Can you get me a mask, please? Really was an excellent performance. 17-year-old Raducanu didn't really get a look in. So Watson and Jamie Murray have played once already this week, but they did lose that one on an epic final set tie-break. You can just jump around the back there. Perfect. Let's see what happens with the coin toss. A fabulous setting this is. We've had beautiful weather all day. Jamie Murray and Heather Watson taking on Joe Salisbury and Emma Raducanu. Now both of these pairings have already had a run out this week. Joe Salisbury and Emma Raducanu taking a win over Andy Murray and Jodie Burridge. And Jamie Murray and Heather Watson did not manage to get off the board on the first day. Let's kick things off then. Jamie Murray. Accompanied by a foghorn. That is uh, wielded by Dan Evans. <laughs> the British Bulldogs are disappointed he hasn't quite run out of juice on that yet. But there he is, Jamie Murray, 34 years old. Had a huge part in putting this tournament together. Two minutes. Now, Jamie has five mixed doubles Grand Slam titles and two men's double slams, so seven in total, just in his section of the court alone. In fact, three of the four players have Grand Slam titles. Emma Raducanu just being 17 years old with a, a little more to prove. And there's another Grand Slam champion in Heather Watson. She won the Wimbledon mixed doubles in 2016, partnering Henry Continent. What a run that was. So she knows her way around the mixed court and always full of smiles and positivity. And playing with Jamie, I was chatting to her earlier and she was saying, it's just so calm. He's such a positive and calm partner to have. Exactly what she looks for when it comes to selecting a doubles partner. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know she played the recorder at all. One minute. Multi-talented is our Heather. Remember, this is a huge match for the maximum points. Three, three points available for the winners here. 
And we go to our third Grand Slam champion in Joe Salisbury, a very recent Grand Slam champion just in 2020. Won the Australian Open partnering Rajiv Ram, but it does, you do get the feeling that it's the first of many seconds. for Joe. He paired up with Emma. Ladies and gentlemen, Salisbury to take a win. won the toss and elected to serve. And really, throughout this week, Joe Salisbury has been on fire. So he'll be partnering, partnering Emma Raducanu once again. And I mentioned it was her very first mixed doubles match ever a couple of evenings ago, but they got the big win. And Raducanu was a huge part of that, really improving End and growing in confidence through the match. She was a little bit concerned as to how she was going to return Andy Murray's serve, but seemed to have no, no, no issue whatsoever. did manage to come through in that final set tie break with Raducanu really playing well on the final couple of points. So confirmation there, the last match of the day, ready to go. We have the setting sun and it is worth a whopping three points. Oh, great. Exactly. Let's go. Come on, team. I think I'm going back in my winning seat. It was lucky, though, regardless. Plenty of encouragement yeah. for the Union Jacks. Really have been the more vocal team throughout the week. The Foghorn <laughs> helping them out today. Dan Evers has been on a rest day, but he must feel like he's played about seven matches because he's been out all day supporting. And for this one, I'm going to be joined by Arvin Palmer. Good evening, Naomi. Hello. Looking forward to this one. I Two am. More Foghorns. More Foghorns. First set. Big points. Three in total. Good. Salisbury to serve. Last match of the day, so teams are going to get into this one. Play. So it's Joe Salisbury to kick things off. Tossing it up there as I was mentioning it, Arvin. But 15 love. a total of nine Grand Slam titles on this court across doubles and mixed. That is pretty impressive, isn't it? Spread across three players, and a bit unfair to single out Raducanu. She hasn't really had a crack at <laughs> it yet. Only just starting out her <laughs> career, really. But great experience for her. Yeah, Jamie certainly has been the, the stalwart of this country when it's come to doubles prowess and success Davis Cup Pretty love two Wimbledon finals for Heather one win We've seen some good play on the doubles court from 30, the three 15. experienced players, but also Raducanu getting stuck in. And we've been talking a little bit about the LTA awards this week. I can confirm she has been awarded LTA Junior Player of the Year in terms of the girls, that is. 40, and actually the boys award went to a Kent player as well. That went to Ben Gusick one. 
you're Kent too, aren't you? I know, that's why. Wow, that's I'll why you're mentioning it, aren't I'll you? I'll get it in a few times before we finish. I know what you're up to there, just bigging up Kent. I'll only, I'll only come out with the results if Kent have won. <laughs> and also okay. some, uh, congratulations to Kent. That is very radical. They've certainly That's played a part in their success. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely accept the, uh, the credit <laughs> on Kent's Not you, behalf. Kent, though, <laughs> the county. Now, plenty of athletes coming out of uh, those neck of the woods. And whilst Radicano is a fine athlete, out of her school, somebody a little bit quicker has come out of there because Dina Asher-Smith went to the same school that Emma Radicano did, although a few years before. Tough to beat her in a sprint, isn't it, to be honest? GB yeah. sprinter, of course. Haven't quite got the fast twitch to compete. Jamie Murray to serve. Nice hit there from Radicani, just drilling Velocity. it down the middle. Uh, the LTA Awards continuing on as we speak, going through the evening, awarding many things from volunteer to club, competition of the year, as well as players, coaches. Do you know all? Definitely going to be a challenge for Radicano having to deal with the Murray serve, a bit more pace on it being a lefty as well. It's swinging away. It's interesting to see how she neutralizes that, makes enough meaningful returns. I think that lob off the return is going to work quite well. Get it up there, try and neutralize it. Nice hands there from Heather Watson, just cushioning that one. Oh, carrying on from where she left off this afternoon. She was outstanding in her singles play earlier today. Yeah, we really thought we were going to have a tight match on our hands there with Radicanu playing far above her ranking and Watson's just been easing her way into the week with wins, I have to say. They've been tight ones. Fault. Yeah, it looked to me as if... Straight ashore. If I see, if I see, but we can check. Do you want to check? Well, normally, Hawkeye will can kick in with the out call. It didn't come, so the umpire had to step maybe, in maybe there. Maybe I got wrong. I, maybe I got it wrong. Yeah, it, it's good. They're going to see it on one? the scoreboard. Whole team on their feet, crowding around the screen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. Well, don't overrule it then. So now I'm just trying to work out where we stand. Yeah, it was it was an ace, wasn't it? No. It All right, we we'll play it first serve. It's a lead. If I remember correctly. 30-15. And we made the return. Yeah. So it's she did hit back. glimpse of the uh, forehand volley that Murray it's, it's quite unique I can't really think of any other players that play it like that it kind of comes over the top of it it's not quite top spin but yeah. he does yeah it kind of reminds me a full stretch of something that Tim Henman or Pat Rafter would come out with the top yeah. spin forehand return but it's often used on a regular forehand volley he still likes to hit over it dry volley like You'd only see yeah, those two guys 30. use that sort of volley when they're, you know, at their maximum reach. Yeah. Just trying to somehow get the ball back. 
It seems he kind of prefers that to a conventional volley, and it's sort of in between a full drive volley or swing volley yeah. and then the punch. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very unique to him, isn't it? It's made yeah. it his own. Well, when he was number one in the world, he was far and away the best volleyer in the world in terms of the doubles game. So it's worked out pretty well for him. Wow, <laughs> that's going to sting a little. Diaz, deciding point. Yeah, she went after that one. There was no hesitation. Decided to really try and climb on it. Love the way she got her body weight through that one. Anytime you can get that return to land in the tram lines, you're going to be in very good shape. First deciding point. And the break Salisbury has been solidified by the Bulldogs. Let's get it back of a double fault from Jamie Murray. And on the previous point, he did give up that second serve for Raducanu to have a whack at. And my Raducanu to serve. Just, just did a little practice second serve, mm. putting that ball back over the net because he's not too happy with that. So an early advantage for the Bulldogs. Yeah. Beaten for pace there at the net, Joe. See the score there up in the top right hand corner 31 22 in favor of the British Bulldogs. But the Bulldogs started the day on 29, they've only picked up a couple of points so far. It has all been about the Union Jacks today, and boy, did they need it! They were trailing by quite some way. Super return from Watson just leaning into that forehand. We saw a lot of that in the singles earlier. chance for Murray and Watson to break right back. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And the break Murray back Watson is sealed. Salisbury bluffing, bluffing partner Raducanu a little bit. Looked like it was his ball, but couldn't quite find it. Back on serve. 2-1. Two two one. One. He, he just can't keep the jacks down today. There's just no stopping them. Some would call it jumping jacks. <laughs> a lot of positivity from the jacks bench. Oh. There we go. Yeah, Come on. There we go. Jamie. She's sitting on that kicker there. I can yeah. body her more okay. on that serve. If you jam her, then she can only go inside out. Good luck. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. She hit. Oh, okay, those are two Get up three. to the serve. Get up to the serve, Hev. Come on. Aggressive air, guys. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Let's get. So the ball's on Watson's racket. And the Watson to serve. Hey, 
Let's press it. from Salisbury. Murray was it, pouncing at the net. Yeah, nicely done. Bit of eye formation from the team of Murray and Watson. And you could see there that Murray isn't completely on the tee. Back in the day, the eye formation used to be kind of a dead straight. And now there is a little bit of gap between the two. You can see him yeah. pounce up. That is a super volley. So quick around the net. Hardly a swing to it. That has kept the bank manager very happy over the years. That type of volley. Enough pace, I think, off that set to work with for a lob like that from Salisbury. Ended up just pushing it too far. so much confidence in the serve when you've got somebody like Jamie Murray all over the net. As long as you hit your spot, you feel like it's going to get dealt with. with that one, Salisbury not quite getting hold of the return. who's checking what happened. Some encouragement from the sidelines for the umpire to overturn the call. But it was plum on Salisbury's foot. Uh, 
that's well done. Taking his time, using the angle. 15 love. Very good smash on him. Salisbury, very reliable. Gets back to it very well. Those two are pretty straightforward, but clinical nonetheless. Very nice work there from Watson. Again, using that lob to great effect. Turning of Murray and Watson has been looking very good. Nice and sharp. Yeah, taking a little off that one. A little bit more spin on it for safety. All about precision. with the rocket cross court off the backhand side. Well, that was tremendous. Really laid into that one. Got the body weight behind it. Boom. And that brings up a couple of break points. right now all four players playing really well that's what you love to see final yes. match of the day three points on it deciding point driving forward there Radicanu. Well, Marian, excellent volley Marion Watson still have a chance to break here deciding point serve coming at Jamie Murray Cover took a little bit of a tumble when she lost her balance, but Murray showing some great Murray movement. Really smart to get that past her there. So they do take the break, and now they're in front. Up three two. <laughs> and then Joe's diving across the. <laughs> yeah, she was just a little tucked up on that one. She did well to get up so quickly, but it was a nice, accurate shot for with from Jamie there. She had a bit to do. Hello, Judy Murray. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so we got three points on offer, so I guess it's no surprise that you've decided to pop six Grand Slam mixed doubles titles out on court. Yeah, absolutely. Get them out there. Get the job done, Jamie. Um, yeah, we are having a good day today, so we're actually very happy, but we would really like to get this one because we've got to bridge that gap so that we're in a good position going into tomorrow. But everybody's played great today, and this mix is shaping up to be really exciting. The crowd is getting incredibly noisy. It's especially me um, but you know isn't it I mean how good is
is it to see uh, Emma Raducanu out there competing and no, no nerves, just getting right stuck in and trading from the back and jumping around the net. And, you know, and she's so young. I'm loving that. Yeah, she really is getting stuck in. All three of the other players have Grand Slam doubles titles, of course, but Raducanu just lapping up the experience. Thanks very much, Judy. No worries. Enjoy the rest of the match. Yep. I'm glad we're a little bit of a distance away from the Union Jacks bench. I don't know if my ears would... <laughs> it's almost as if he needs to give his team a warning because they're yeah. sort of jumping out their seats every time he presses the, the button there. the forehand volley. It's just Great so love. tough to read. You know Jamie's so good at it. Just a little bit of cover on top of the ball. So unusual. Just lay the wrist back at the last second to take it down the line. from Murray, but Joe handled the return nicely. Got it dipping below the height of the net. Sign for that. So knew it was going there. Just didn't quite execute the backhand volley. Had the line covered well. have been back edge of the line. Game. And the result is a Fair hold of serve for Murray and Watson. Murray Watson. Murray Watson lead four games to two. Baby brother watching this one now. Yeah. Played a good doubles earlier. Got the win. Over Inglot and Gray. Call of out from Salisbury. I just wonder if that just distracted it. 
Not sure that was going long. She was right to take it. Time, good cross. 40, 15. Right on top of that net as well. Be really aggressive with the volley. the technique we see from himself and on the forehand volley on the drive return that time. Yeah, very compact motion that time. He's not chipping it. That's how he normally hits over it. Not much of a take back, but leans on it. Gets his body weight behind it. Turns from Heather Watson today have just been outstanding. It's exactly what she did to Radicano in the singles. Just as Emma thought she'd got a good serve in, it was right back at her feet. That's the width she's finding as well. Look how wide of the court Radicano has to be there to play her back end. It's way out of position. Strong hold for the pair of Salisbury and Raducanu. Oh, lots of energy from their end of the court. But it is still Murray and Watson up with a break, 4-3. Good to see this level of energy. From the Bulldogs the team, it's been a long game. day. Same with your yeah. turn. Anyway, like mix up line and cross. Yeah. Okay. Since you feel up on seconds, yeah, I think apply a little bit of pressure here. Yeah, I think up, up on, on seconds. seconds. Yeah. Emma. That's a good choice. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Okay. Yeah. 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 Bit of discussion with Captain Leon Smith. You have to be so smart with your choices when it comes to doubles. You can't just get into the same pattern and keep doing the same things over and over again. They'll read it very quickly. Variation and keeping them honest is such a key part. Fifteen left. Always nice to get the ace over Joel Salisbury. <laughs> yeah, just uh, rubbing it in there, just making uh, him aware of it.
Ready, love. This is some superb serving. Pacey and very accurate. Just out of reach for Adekani. Murray, what's what a game from Heather Watson. No wonder she's smiling. Murray, what's yeah, the perfect three? game. Five I love hold. Three. That goes down very nicely. Takes the, the heat off somewhat. Seeing as we were talking about the LTA awards a little earlier, can confirm. Congratulations. Johanna Conter has won the Women's Player of the Year. Very strong year for her. Dan Evans. Men's Player of the Year. Oh. All very deserving Pretty winners. In one year, going from 190 to 42. So impressive. Second one, and just to round that off, talking about the performance of Dan Evans in 2019, his coach David Felgate gets the performance coach of the year. Oh. Oh. Lost the control on that one. 40, 50. A bit of a swing and very flat. Not a Good recipe. Hopefully that won't come back to haunt him in this game. Got a bit of a lead still. Yeah, a little more careful on those volleys just to make sure he got the job done. Salisbury so closing the gap, they are still trailing Murray a break. Watson lead five games to four. And Murray and Watson will be out to serve for the opening set. <laughs> Good to see all the benches pretty much full, even though some of them are just at the side of the bench. Hey, come on, let's get everything this game, right? Come on. Yeah. So where do you think she should stand? Take it early. The thing is, if you, if you sit back and it's, it's going to move away from the screen, I think still just stop it. I think step, just cut it off. You know, step it out. Time. Now's the time, guys. Now's the time. Oh, 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 oh. It really is a beautiful evening, and this match, the final match of the day, has just had a little extra something about it, hasn't it? Of the support has just ramped up a notch. Everybody's been here because they've finished all of their matches, yeah. they've done all of their warm downs, and one had some final dinner. Push, isn't yeah. it? Last match of the day. Rest up for tomorrow. Hey. Things are just beginning to cool down out here a bit as well as the sun goes down so it's a, a beautiful evening to be out now can Radicano do anything about this lefty serve Love. 
Yeah, she was discussing at the change of ends. How shall I deal with the return? Shall I take it early? Shall I step back? She decided to try and cut the angles and take it on a little bit more. It's not much of a run back to this court, so it's tough. So some strong serving from Murray, not really giving Salisbury and Raducanu a look in. And that just brings up three set points. Oh, what a way to finish. A near perfect service game for Jamie Murray. Murray Watson by and the Union Jacks four. continue their role on day four here at Battle of the Brits. They win the first set, 6-4. Really good, really aggressive. Trying to go with the high pitch. Both of you. Keep it up. Yeah. yeah, I think they'll be very happy with that opening set. Dealt with some pressure early on, recovered well. Some good serving, good returning from Heather. Always excellent net play from Jamie Murray, looking sharp, halfway to the victory. Look at the numbers, first uh, percentage for Murray and Watson, just a little low, but winning the majority of points behind it, now making it. Covered from a breakdown early, I'll be very happy with that, and they struck back immediately. Good movement at the net. Murray and Watson from the back of the court striking a return as well. Second balls as well. Served well herself. A few free points. Always helps the course. A tremendous set all round. High quality stuff. Incredibly sharp. We are just going to have a slight pause as the trainer has been called to court. And we believe it is for Emma Raducanu. Oh. Maybe it's for Joe Salisbury. Yeah, but you had to play on the other one, though. Because it came in a little bit. You have to be so accurate if you cheat. But then you can also, at least if you're You can in, hear Leon Smith having a chat with Emma, yeah. using this time to talk yeah, yeah, yeah. some tactics. He's always going to get this going to be his go to one anyway. Yeah. Make that shift is good. I didn't notice anything. Are you going to go off court? Joe? Stay here. No obvious injury. Maybe he's just tweaked something. I'll get the mat. There's weights behind Yeah, it seemed like he was kind of pointing to his lower back. Not entirely sure. Might just need a little bit of massage to loosen something up. He has uh, played a lot this week and has been a tremendous competitor. Really strong performances. Remember, if the Union Jacks do go on to win this, now that they are a set-up... Tell me when you start, right? They will Thanks. jump to 25 points, so there'll just be a six-point deficit going into day five. Remember, we're playing all the way through to Sunday, and the points just keep ramping up. Plenty more matches. 29 points available on Sunday alone. So as long as they're in the mix, you just don't know who's going to come out on top. As if it's the lower back, just to try and loosen things up. A bit of massage. Get the thumbs in there, it can be so painful at times. You're still evaluating, it? starting now. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Salisbury is now receiving a medical timeout. So he will take the time out. That's three minutes on the clock to receive whatever treatment is necessary. A 
you've got to be able to put up with a fair amount of pain if you want to be a professional athlete. Mm. Yeah, it's a small price to pay, yeah. Really, these sort of injury timeouts just to try and get you back into shape. A little bit of pain with the thumbs, and sometimes they even get the elbow in there as well. Oof. The body weight behind it. Yeah. Be nasty. It does loosen things up, though. Yeah, very impressive what they can do in uh, just a, a small amount of time. So after just looking at how the match is poised, it was a pretty tight set. There was only you know, a break in it in the end. But what can Salisbury and Raducanu do? Because it, the, the experience level of Watson and Murray, whilst they've only played together in one match earlier this week, as I say, six mixed doubles titles, grand slams between them, it, you know, it's, it's quite a challenge. Yeah, it's difficult. I think uh, for Emma, she's going to have to try and work out how she can make enough meaningful returns I against the Murray serve. I mean, that's something that's kind of... I mean, everyone's... It's kind of bothered it a bit. She hasn't quite <laughs> figured that out, a bit out. But do you remember, they, they were a break up as well, so... They did a lot of right things in that opening set. You were? Yeah. It's one of that consistency, giving nothing away, being really solid. Trying to take care of their own serves. If you can hold your own serve, you're going to you're gonna have opportunities to break. You're going to be... Putting the pressure on. I just hope uh, Joe's issue here isn't too bad. It doesn't hamper his moving. Because that could be very tough for them otherwise. I haven't seen any sort of issue, any sort of hindrance no, for him. Didn't, didn't notice anything. Looks as if he was moving well. Didn't kind of reach for it back, or, uh, back at any stage. Didn't stretch out at any stage. Didn't look as if he lost he lost any power in his strokes and his serve. Can be really difficult though if that lower back does just lock up. Get a good shot of the amount of players out on court. Thirty seconds remaining. Thirteen players on each team. Everybody has to play in two matches minimum, although Plenty of players are playing an awful lot more than that. There is Dan Evans, managed to find himself a Union Jack face mask and a foghorn overnight. Shot, Jamie. Clean. I know, I didn't see it. Yeah, it's just a good shot. So you can hear in the background Heather and Jamie just having a couple of strikes up and down the middle of the court just to keep their eye in, keep warm and sharp. But that is the end of the treatment. So Salisbury will be back up on his feet and ready to go to start this second Time. set. You are that side. Second set. So after the treatment, balls are with Salisbury. Salisbury things off in the serve. second. <laughs> the court is pretty much completely in shadow now as the sun disappears behind a tree. wonder if there is an issue that might be affecting his serve. We'll just have to see. Well, he's, it's only natural that he's going to be a little tentative for the first couple of serves, isn't he? He does not want to make an issue worse. I could see what he was trying to do. It was a very difficult one to get around likes to take that volley so far out in front. Needs to create space and quickly. Well, the smash looks fine. 
This is where Emma can really step up and be of help and support. Take care of those. Well played. Well, she saw the gap. Just was unable to find it. Radicano moving a little early. Second double fault of the 30. game. Both have come off that juice side and both drifting a little long. Getting away from Watson on that occasion. Returns have been so good through this match. But Salisbury does manage to come through his service game despite a couple of double faults, and they're up one love. Yeah, it did look as if the speed was slightly down on serve there for, for Joe. Yeah, it looked tentative, and he just told Leon Smith that it hasn't really improved. So it's just going to be a case of managing it for. This match can be quite tough, you know, with being in this sort of situation, the mixed doubles, there's a lot of pressure on his serve, really to try and set Emma up at the net. Double, court, double faults are catching. You can see the Union Jack temporary tattoo on the face of Heather Watson. She told me despite her best efforts last night, she couldn't get it off. <laughs> Might be hanging around for a while. Always the possibility she might be turning up to Cincinnati with it st still on her cheek, but she's going <laughs> to try and... She might want to see a skin specialist yeah. if, if it's still on by then. Oh, beautifully cushioned from Watson. She knew exactly what she was doing. That was a deliberate shot. So well controlled, taking pace off the ball, and that's where the space was in the forecourt. So just dink it in there. Both Radicanu and Salisbury back on the baseline. Murray expected Watson to try and poach there. It's as if he was a little late to get across to the volley. Game. Yeah, some strong serving in that game. Murray Watson through. Game 
Really good energy from all areas of the court here. Just that slight concern for Salisbury with the niggle in the back. Maybe wouldn't be surprised if he opts to rest tomorrow. He has played a lot. I think he's played every day, isn't he? Yeah, I think he has. And his courts are pretty unforgiving on the body as well. Whoa. Not much give to them, just Locked the nature in. of a hard court. It's not much shock absorption going through the body, playing on these sort of courts. Yeah, and as much as we haven't had the regular season start um, around for some time, it's fast approaching summer in the States. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty hectic end to the year, isn't it? Back to back to back tournaments. It's crazy. Masters <laughs> 1000s and majors. Superb strike from Watson. She just sees that so well. Uh, it's been money, that backhand. All day, in fact. It was excellent in her singles, too. She likes moving around the forehand to play the backhand. That's how comfortable she is off that wing. Well, the pressure mounting now for Salisbury and Raducanu. Big strikes on the return of the Raducanu serve. It's got to be a little careful there that you don't reach over the net to play that. It's very easy to do. Mm. Umpire was happy, satisfied it was on his side of the court. Take a with that return, just didn't quite catch it. Yeah, in terms of those major events upcoming for the rest of the year, the only Grand Slam we've had this year, Salisbury took the title. Mm -hmm. Alongside partner Rajiv Ram, they were just looking so good at the beginning of the year. <laughs> well, how about that return from Heather Watson? Couple of Screaming shots off the Raducanu serve. Murray Watson lead two games to one. And the Union Jacks are up a set and a break. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Slightly yeah. concerning, there are now two fog horns on the yeah, bench. Don't ask them, don't ask them. Let's get them on. Yeah, it's half out, bang on the dot. 8.31. Don't worry about that, guys, come on. Yeah, we win this match, come on. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go, guys. Let's go, Jax. Here we go, Jax. So the advantage very much with Watson and Murray here.
a good effort there from Watson. That one just jumping up and over Murray's racket. Defending the initial volley, but he's looking for the next. Murray so quick to react and face up. Bread and butter, that type of volley for him. Super serving. Such credit to Watson coming into this event. She knew that a lot of the other women that she'd be playing against would have so many matches under their belt over the past month. She hasn't been able to do that. Picking up some wins against Beth Gray on the first day. That was a tight one. I think she was quite nervous about it. Then against Eden Silver. Again, that was a tight one in that final set breaker before beating Emma Raducanu this morning and her level has increased every single time and we know that she can play some of her best stuff when it comes to mixed yeah, it's a good strike big strike a few meters behind the baseline 40, as well 30. Great accuracy. looking like they're in control. I know it's only a break and anything can happen, especially with the sudden death juice, but just looking that little bit sharper. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Joe serves in this next game, because uh, the MPH was a little down in his previous game. Set one there, you can see 113 on average, and it's a bit of a drop off there. To go for more placement than anything. If he's struggling to really send it down and score some free points, His variation's got to be good. Oh. He's definitely trying to use the kick serve a little more. Yeah, it definitely seems like he can't just release through the ball and get the pace that he would be looking for. But you need the racket head speed to get the spin to control mm. the serve. That's why we saw those couple of double faults that he missed long. He just got away from him. Good work there from Raducanu, just holding her ground right up close to the net, not backing off at all. 30-15. Back of the line, that one. 
but he won't mind too much if his back is bothering him a little on the serve, as long as he can come through those service games. Managed to do that, keeping a variation on the serve and keeping the turn of guessing. So keeping this tight. Good to see the energy from Radakanu. Second match of the day for her. Well, I think we are going to be able to have a chat with Leon. He may not have wanted to come and talk to us. <laughs> we won't keep him long, we promise. <laughs> Leon, I hope you can hear us. We won't keep you long. But uh, how is the uh, the injury of, of Jose? It looks as if he's just uh, struggling a, bit, a touch serving and moving. Yeah, it is. It's just a bit of stiffness. It's not, it's not an existing one. It's just something that's happened in this match. We just have to be a little bit careful um, with that. He's had a couple, obviously, late finishes. Uh, even sort of mixed double star player that we've had. But um, it looks like he's still OK. I don't think he's anything too serious. But um, yeah, it's definitely hindering just a little bit, as you can see, as he lunged for that, one of the volleys in the last game as well. It just looked like it was a little bit tight. Thanks a lot, Leon. All so, the best. Cheers. Good effort, good pace. Good effort. Put up some resistance well there, Radicanu. But in the end, there was the breakthrough. It's that lefty swinger is vicious. Andy Murray really has done a fantastic job with uh, his level of support through this event. Of course, getting a win on the board earlier on, partnering Lloyd Glassball. But if he hasn't been playing, he's been on the bench, supporting as best he can. A little bit of sledging coming from Andy as well. <laughs> well, uh, he certainly can give it, but he can take it as well, which is <laughs> yeah. good. That's fine then. Says he doesn't mind a bit of an atmosphere, even if it is a, a little bit of a sledging. serving again from Murray. Doesn't look like he's going to flinch on that. It's got a unique serve that he has as well, the way he steps into it. It's not too many players that have that sort of technique. Carsten Brasch, I remember, the German, yeah. he stepped in. Jan Simmerink, he was a lefty. He used to step in as well, and so was uh, Carsten Brasch to that. 
to that as well. He was a lefty too. There's no Anyone one out else? there at the moment, is there? No one that I can think of. One. And it's quite a large step. Yeah. yeah. Let's get some momentum behind the serve. You're allowed one step. You're not allowed a run up. <laughs> you can't happy Gilmore it. <laughs> no, not as far as I'm aware. But one step is allowed. No more. I think most players just opt, opt to start on the baseline because it's just tough to judge. It's hard enough trying to control the back foot if you're stepping up in your serve. Sometimes that can drift a little over the line. Looked like he was tight enough to try and find its way over. You know, I always find it funny when players react so strongly to getting foot faulted because it's a pretty simple rule. You, you serve from behind the line. You're not allowed on it. It's the fact that they, they haven't seen it. Yeah. So it's that element of doubt. Are you sure? But what gets me is if they continue to foot fault as well. Oh. Never understood players Leaps not just... 30. Stepping back a couple of inches, <laughs> and then you're room. fine. Yeah, I mean, you've still got a lot of room to play with, and you're not giving away too much uh, as far as the, the, the distance that the ball has to travel or the height that you're hitting it at. But uh, it continues to get called foot fault. Fanina, for instance. And Johanna Conter is actually one of the few I can think of. She doesn't step up, but she just serves from quite a chunk behind the baseline. She's mm. not close to the line. This is a big game for the Salisbury Radicanu pairing. Drilled right at the left shoulder of Watson. Couldn't get out of the way. 40, 30. High quality stuff from Emma Raducanu. Good energy. Closing that gap. Just asking the question once again. But Marion Watson still in control. Yeah, I have been seriously impressed with Emma's level this evening. She's played really well. The least experienced player on the court. Just starting out her career. And she's certainly held her own. Yeah, she had a really great response after the loss she took earlier today as well. First loss on the board for her this week, and she has been playing so well, but she was very realistic about it and said, I mean, Heather returned great, she served great. It was just really tough to get in there. And yeah, OK, she's got to go away and learn how to try and disrupt a game style like that, but really it was a, a counter-punching masterclass from Watson. Every time Ryder Carney got that strike in, it was coming right back to her feet. She's got no short balls to look at. Very easy after a kind of a one-sided loss like that to feel like you just didn't play very well and we're out of it. But she was well aware that she wasn't allowed to play. Oh, yeah, nicely seen. Early move from Murray. Well, that particular return at the Australian Open final was outstanding. She don't remember him missing one of those. The off-backhand return or taking it up the line like that. Superb.
again. She just reads the court so well. That's why she's excelled in doubles and mixed. Sees that early move, the open gap, and then just crunches it away. And one of the biggest forehands of the match so far from Heather. Real injection of pace, that one. Love the way she used her legs there. Nice and low to it, driving it through. Radicani delivering a similar shot right back, low on the forehand, driving as much pace as possible. Jamie Murray there. He was looking for the T serve. Sorry, I mean Joe Salisbury. Didn't bluff her own partner that time. Serve into the body there, just tucking Raducanu up. Murray Watson leads five games to three. Can be so effective, especially against somebody who's always looking for that strike. So just a game away now, Murray and Watson. You can see we've got the lights on as the sun is uh, it's not completely gone, as you can see there, but it's just behind the trees. 10 to 9 in the evening here in London. Have to react to that, 30, just 15. jumping over the frame of Emma's racket. So it will be Murray and Watson with a service game to try and round out this match. It's been high quality stuff all round. You see again the energy, the relentless stride of Jamie Murray. Up a set and 5 4. Come on, Jay, guys. Come on. Um, 
Come on, Heather. Come on, Jax. You got this, Jax. Here we go. So the ball's with Jamie Murray to try and get this one done in straight sets. Well, it was quite an awkward one actually for Murray to try and get away. Glad we don't have too many neighbours. <laughs> Doubt that Heather needed to deal with that. Good serve from Murray, nice and accurate. It was in the corner. Too deep there for Radicani to handle. Remember this match worth a huge three points. soft and a forehand angle the bench like it Heather Watson likes 40, it 15. and it brings them up a few match points and that is world class superb feel Casey return. 40, 30. balloons come raining down of course they do it was such a high quality match great mixed doubles all round and of course both of these two are mixed doubles grand slam champions yeah, that's a super performance and a superb comeback today they have narrowed the gap and the majority of the points in the matches Cheers, Captain. Well done. Four and four yeah. in the end. Nice job, guys. What's on Fuego today? Well done, Heather. That relentless support that has come from the Union Jacks bench starting to pay off because it was a few tough days for them, really. Tough to get the points on the board, but now the points are ramping up and you see they're trading 31 to 25, so six points down. That could be easily rectified. 
gets some rewards herself with a little treat from the Burridge household. Victory treat. Like it. Beginning of the week, they were losing a lot of the close matches, but now starting to turn the tables. Well, that does end our day's coverage and our day's play here. Rest, refuel, some physio for Joe Salisbury before coming back for day number five. Yeah, they've got to make a decision on Joe, whether he was down to play tomorrow, whether they take the risk and play him or have to arrest him. It's a lot of tennis he's played already. Going to have to perhaps make an assessment in the morning on it, see how he fares overnight. Things can stiffen up a bit after a night's sleep. Well, the uh, water <laughs> bombs nearly getting them. Just nipping them around the ankles. And we will be hearing from Watson and Murray. They are alongside Abigail Johnson. Okay. Can't really go Nine. much later than that. It's getting pretty darn. Jamie and Heather, huge stuff from you two tonight. I'm going to start with Heather. You played Emma earlier in singles. How good of a preparation was that for tonight? Yeah, um, I played really well in my singles match earlier and I find when I play doubles after having a singles match earlier in the day, I always play better tennis, but really glad me and Jamie got through that one. I felt like on the first day we were so unlucky to miss out on that and we played great together and we did again today, but got the win. Jamie, Joe got a little bit of stick for the medical timeout. What did you make of all that? <laughs> Joe was a champ today. He was taking a lot of abuse through that match. I don't know how he how he how he put up with it, but um, yeah, I mean, good day for the Jacks. Heather, player of the day, I think, taking out uh, Emma. Great performance earlier and waiting around all day and played a great match in the in the mix there and um, starting to make a bit of a bit of a match of it, which is which is nice because scoreboard wasn't looking too pretty for us. Uh, after yesterday. Well, it was a great performance from you guys to get you back on track. And what were you most pleased with from this particular match in terms of your performance? Um, well, winning. I mean, <laughs> I mean getting grief of for course. not contributing to my team. <laughs> um, no, just to win. I mean, that was a big match there for us to get three points on the board after, after a good day. Um, you know, make the most of it. And yeah, I mean, tomorrow we go again. It'll be another, another long day. Um, my fault for that, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, let's see who's, who's got the energy, who's got the legs. I'm going to throw it over to your mum, Judy Murray. Yeah. It's been rather a good day for the Union Jacks. Yeah, you won Jacks 13 of back. the 15 points. And what's been the difference, do you think? I don't know. Maybe just everybody settling into the team, the surroundings, the conditions. You know, everybody's a little bit rusty coming into it because everybody's been in lockdown and so short of match practice. But I think our team are really starting to get it together now. And... Uh, this was a very satisfying day for us, and we have narrowed that gap. So we're in with a shout again. Yeah, I was going to say, you were the pre-tournament favourites for a lot of people. Now you've got the momentum with you. Do you think you've got that title back? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> There's absolutely no doubt about it. Yeah, you know, look, we're having a lot of fun, and I think that the team camaraderie is actually really helping as well. Everybody is getting behind everybody else and uh, I'm absolutely loving it. Well it's been amazing at the sidelines. Congrats on a brilliant day. Thank you. And we're going to have a quick chat to Annie Kay and not the best day for the British Bulldogs but you've had a really solid week so far. Yeah well we came into this um, as the underdogs and I still think we're the underdogs despite um, maintaining our lead. Um, you know the, the Jacks were incredibly good. A few tight matches um, that could have gone either way today. Um, but for me, the standout performances have been from Heather Watson today. She was awesome in her singles against Emma and again, very good in the mix tonight. So what's the game plan for tomorrow? How will you mount the <laughs> comeback? Well, the challenge, I mean, it's such a long week and these days are long, it's draining, it's intense. Um, the team spirit has been great and everyone's having a fantastic time, but we're managing aches and pains um, amongst the team. So, um, Really, it's a test of stamina. There's still a lot of tennis to be played. Well, make sure you get a good rest tonight. Thanks, Anne. Thank you. Well, lots of positivity all round, although it seems like all changed. Just a little look back at that fantastic mix match. What do you make of it, Alf? Yeah, it was a brilliant uh, performance, actually, from both teams, considering that there was a slight injury to, to Salisbury in that second set. I thought he, he did well to 
hang in there and, and perform the best he could. Uh, Raducanu put up a, a really good showing once again. But Murray and Watson, well, they they showed why they are multiple. Well, Jamie is a multiple uh, slam winner, and uh, Watson with the one mixed doubles title at Wimbledon. Why she is such a good mixed doubles player as well. She was hitting that backhand beautifully. She served really well. Also, those numbers would suggest that as well. They're pretty good on those big points as well. Three from six break points converted. And that's what it's all about, playing those big points well. Well, let's just take a little look back at what happened today. First up, oh, feels like a little while ago, Jodie Burridge taking on Harriet Dart. That was a topsy-turvy account. 10-6, Jodie Burridge took it in the end. Heather Watson taking out Emma Raducanu. We thought that would be a little bit closer. And then the men's doubles worth two point. Andy Murray and Lloyd Glasspool dispatching Dominic Inglot and Alistair Gray. Then in the evening, the singles match, Ryan Penniston putting in such a good showing against Kyle Edmund, but losing out in that final set breaker. And then we just saw their fantastic mixed doubles match. Jamie Murray and Heather Watson coming through that one, four and four. Well, that wasn't the end of the action that we saw today because over on court one, four matches to get stuck into. Naomi Brody took a loss against Maya Lumsden, the Scottish number one coming through in straight sets. Jan Choitsky beat Liam Brody for the second time this week, two and three. And youngster Anton Matusevic getting a fantastic win on the board, winning the final set breaker against another young gun in Aidan McHugh. And the final women's doubles match was of a really high level. Once again, Olivia Nichols and Alicia Barnett coming through four and three. So much to play for tomorrow. Eight matches will be with you from 11.30. 17 points on offer. It could all change. First team to reach 60 points wins. The British Bulldogs do still have the advantage, but the Jacks are just nipping at their heels. We will see you tomorrow from 11.30. Bye for now. Day four.